Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Did I fix some of the overlay problem? Yes. Looks like I need to adjust the webcam here, though. Uh, that last video or stream, I noticed that you couldn't see the that like the very top of the opponents shit over there the you know like how many cards are in their hand so let's see here where's the webcam yes. Celestial Colonnade. Alrighty. This is going to be better than all artifact, cantrip, whatever deck that freaking was we last played. Um. Huh. Well. Oh, it looks like the webcam kind of is okay. Looks like we're a little bit stuck here. Not stuck, but it's a little bit tricky, let's just call it. I don't didn't have double blue or blue green to cast, you know, some sort of a lord. So I think, since we have no green and all green creatures, we're going to have to do the old put our thing on the stack, tap it, say yes, put the speaker in, say OK, tick up to two, botanical sanctum right there. Hmm. Well, I think we go for uh, Reachery right here. It plays around uh, Spell Snare, since it's a three cost. Oh, <laughs> can't attack with that. Helix. Okay. So we're just going to call it 2020 here. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I think we just have to get super aggressive right here. <laughs> yes, we do. And I think we're just going to fire up and go in. Uh, do we give him a chance to bolt or do something with his mana? He has Helix, he needs yeah, he needs one more mana to do Snapcaster Helix, which is ooh, Field of Rune. He can Field of Rune a Moon opponent, okay. Huh. Is that his plan? <laughs> Lord of Atlantis. Ooh, that's a good one. Iron Walk's a good one. Uh, he does not have... I don't know if these decks even... <laughs> is, is Cryptic Command a thing in 2019, people? Is, is it? Because uh, I don't know. I used to play around Cryptic all the freaking time. You know, where you would go to beginning of combat, give them priority, see if they tap your stuff down, but he doesn't have it. 
so we are going to do this. See what he does. So we got 11 coming at him. Okay, so he does have a Snapcaster. So it's going to Snapcaster Helix, okay. So then we'll give him priority again. Let's see what he wants to do. So he's going to go for the Helix right now on the Miss Binder, okay. I think now's a good time for the Lord, since uh, it's going to get an extra three damage in for us. Cause oh wait, no, he has no, he has no islands. <laughs> he has no islands. Shit, I thought this Sulphur Falls was a. There's so many art, you know, different art nowadays. Shoot, I don't know. Okay, now we have an island. Do you want to just play into that? So we have eight right here, if nothing else, yeah. Okay. <sighs> um. Sorry, I have this stupid starting. I don't have a good transition. Uh, I need like a uh, an intermission type thing, maybe or. I don't know. I don't see any information particularly on the internet about how I should sideboard. Okay, um, I think we want spreading seas out, I think we want deprive in, I think we want echoing truth in for like planeswalkers and whatnot. I think that's going to be all we can do. All right. This is an interesting hand. It has early pressure if I do like mood if I do a mood of all into aether vial on turn one, right? Let's do it. This this is a play that almost certainly demonstrates weakness if at least if I see somebody lead off like that. A play of like that does not lead me to believe that the person has a lot of land, particularly. Yes, yeah, see, exactly. Yeah, I don't really think Stony Silence is super. Super great in a situation like this. <laughs> he has his own spreading seeds. I love it. I love it. Hmm. Merfolk Trickster is cool. Uh, 
Uh, what can we do here? Play. A, I could play a breeding pool tapped. I could play a waterlogged grove. You know, we could do like a bounce. That's something interesting to consider. It's bouncing. It's like echoing truth, the stony silence or something. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the breeding pool tap because I don't know what to do here. So this is obviously a matchup where you have to play very patiently. So we're gonna do this. See if he has some sort of counter magic or spell queller, huh? Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. This is a fairly aggressive. Spell Pierce. Interesting. I guess maybe I just bounce the queller now, you know, and then uh, get my dude and make him remove it. Now I know he has a queller. So we're definitely going to have to change our our sideboarding strategy around a little bit here. You know, obviously dismember is probably a consideration at least. Though on the play with spell pierce in the deck, you know, the spell pierce slot probably would be the one I would want to Time for waterlogged grove yet, I don't know. Yeah, he can just... I can't really attack into a spell queller like that. But, you know, if he wants to, let's do it. A resto angel, huh? Oh wow. What even is this? This is not Okay. We're just gonna play our Regery and say go. Regery can tap stuff like Restoration Angel down. So maybe we do want to take the spell pierces out. Hmm. Path to exile. I think uh, oh, yeah, we need to start playing these damn waterlogged graves here. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to say he could go aggro. Try to clock me since I don't have anything. I'm 
Emperor's going to concede. We don't have anything here. We need to take out the Spell Pierces. We need to take out the Echoing Truth. We need to bring in Dismember. We need to bring... Mm. Actually, no, we want to leave in the Echoing Truth. This Aether Vial could be a consideration to take out, too. We note that we do not have any... Uh, what do you call it? We don't have any uh, Cavern of Souls type effects. Jeez. Might need to go a little more aggressive, but there are just some there's some great control shit in here. I mean, really, to be honest, a force of negation backing up a master with a with a vault out. What is he doing here? Mulligans to five. Okay. Um. Well, I wish we had a little bit more aggressive start. Now, you know, an aggressive start from us, of course, would be the way to punish a mulligan from the opponent. Do we... The question is, do we... Uh, force a negation pitching Echoing Truth if he uh, kills this? Uh, killing. Okay. Going good so far. Ooh, another force of negation. I like it. So here's the vault. Here's the attack. And I'm gonna say done. does have a path to exile. Um, we're going to force this. For sure. Because force, egg, uh, the cool thing about force integration is it also exiles it. So snapcaster rebuying could be really, really fucked if we have, you know, attacking with Okay, he's looking for another one now. Okay, well, he's got his lands now. And he definitely could take us off this vault. So how do we want to do this? So we fire up the vault, we swing in for five. And then we have... Deprive or Ecking. I think the, actually the way to do it is like this. Play this one, and then you fire it up like this, so we have double blue. There we go. So he's got to decide between... <laughs> Another damn force, come on now. Alright. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. I would love it. Oh, I actually can't do it. Uh, let's see if he has Snapcast. No, no, he's going to. Yeah. Aha, he was missing a mountain. 
that's what it was. And then we want you to take your damage here. So we really want him to use that. Teferi? What do we do here? Force it. I think the play is actually to just, yeah, it's just to fire it up, get our five in. And then we're gonna sit back on our deprive this turn, right? He needs something with flash, he needs I don't really know how they do their thing. Does he sideboard out all those creatures again, you know? Like, maybe he's got... Hmm. Oh, this is really interesting. Aether Vial. Right. So... Maybe we just play more patiently here. Hmm. Yeah, like let's play an Aether Vial. to bolt. Okay. Hmm. How is this exactly going to work? Maybe I should have considered playing the, the Regery and not having to prive up. Alright. You know why we're going to counter this? Is because... Uh, of that flooded strand. If he wanted to like snap cast or re buy the, the bolt, he would have to uh he would have to uh deal himself three damage. Benthic Biomancer. Now that was a reason to keep that land in my hand. Hm. Well, that's kind of shitty. You know, I think I need to redo the damn lighting in here. Let's see what happens if I play another Lord. Because this is going to mean both my creatures are, are good. Let's 
so now we can do snap lightning bolt, right? Right. Let's see what happens. I feel like I'm like not. I feel like I'm missing something here. I mean, I guess you could. You know, I really don't think they have cryptic. I think cryptic's just too slow for a modern dress guy or whatever. I'm sure maybe I, you might just see a few copies. Okay, here comes Snapcaster. Yep. So he's gonna snap. Uh -huh. Then he's gonna block to save his life. Got it, dude. Oldie but a goodie. Puts one card on bottom of their library with opt. He's searching. Good games and well played, my master. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess that's it. Well, uh, that looks like uh, Jess guy control, right? J uh. They used to call it American, you know, red, white, and blue, but you know how it is, Wizards of the Coast. Jeez. Damn American. Hating American companies. I, I'm, I'm supposed to say that. Who is this person saying this bullshit? All right, y'all.